Stan, explain this to me. What's the actual difference between two-stroke and four-stroke engines? And don't just say, one's faster. Ah, uh, finally, a real question. It's all about how they complete the combustion cycle. Uh, Inglés, por favor. All right, think of it like this. An engine needs four steps to run. One, intake, pulls in air and fuel. Two, compression, squeezes it tight. Three, power, boom, explosion happens. Four, exhaust, pushes out the burnt gases. A four-stroke engine does one step per stroke, so it takes four piston movements to complete the cycle. So it's like a steady, controlled process? Exactly! That's why four strokes are smoother, last longer, and get better fuel economy. More efficient, but heavier, and more complex. All right, so how does a two-stroke do it? A two-stroke engine crams everything into two strokes. It combines intake and compression in one movement, and combustion and exhaust in the next. So it's doing double the work in half the time? Bingo. That's why two strokes make more power per size, rev higher, and hit like a punch in the face. But they burn oil with the fuel, which means more smoke, more wear, and more maintenance. So two stroke equals light, fast, and high maintenance, while four stroke equals smooth, durable, but heavier? Exactly. Two strokes feel like they want to launch you into orbit. Four strokes keep you grounded with torque. That's why dirt bikes and racing bikes love two-strokes, but touring and street bikes mostly use four-strokes. So, two-stroke for crazy fun, four-stroke for all-day riding? Now you're getting it, but either way, your wallet's gonna suffer.